Hello, my name is Alejandro Sainz. I work for the Scopia and Equinox Backbone team. We are going to talk about the Avaya CU360. How to upgrade using a Windows PC. Before we start the upgrade process, we suggest uh, to check our KB article. Uh, the link will be, will be on the on the comments of this video. The KB article is for entitled customer only. So you should have a valid login for support.avaya.com. It is important to verify that the CU360 is fully connected to the customer network using uh, Ethernet GLAN card or uh, by Wi-Fi. In this case, uh, my PC is on the same subnet than the CU360. We are going to che check that by ping and also by joining by joining by web to the unit. Here is it, right? Other other important thing is to check the software version. In this case, in this case, we have the version 10 0, 0, 103B, and I have downloaded already the ver the, the version we are going to upgrade. Software versions are available in support site or PLDS site. The one that we are going to use is the 10 0, 0, 108B. Now the the upgrade software it's uh, it's loading, it's extracting and it's important also to verify that the PC to be used can reach as I told you the CU360 and that any firewall or access list security policy is not blocking uh, the the port 55090 uh, the best will be that the PC is the PC is connected into the same network subnet as we are doing on this on this exercise. Before installing the software, please read the software license available at and here is the document the the link to the document. And by installing the software, you are agreed to the terms and conditions of the software software license. I'm going to agree that. And next step is just to put the IP address, in this case is this one, of the uh, CU360. As soon as I start, we can see the progress bar and it's telling us that, that the upgrade starts. Here on the portal, in the web portal, in the administrator portal of the CU360, Avaya CU360, we can see uh, a warning telling us that there is a software update and to not switch off the system. On the TV, it's possible to see that the software is being updated. The progress bar keep increasing. Now we are in 77% and keep waiting. Now we are in 91% and it's very important. Do not shut down or plug or unplug the CU360 device until the software transfer is completed. Now it's 99%. And we can see here in in our PC that the transfer has been completed. Check the codec unit, uh, graphical interface for progress. Uh, wait until the update will be applied and system restarts. Be patient because it will take several minutes. On the HDMI monitor, it's possible to see 
that keeps installing. The installing process continues, the, the booting process of the CU360. And finally, and here is the menu, right? I am going to join and we should be able to see that we have the newer version. Here is it, we have it. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.